Hello guys, my name is Kurtu Hista and this is another Dota 2 game. So today it's going to be a team game with me, that dude and Marble. So this is all picks, so I'm going to speed things up. There we go, two and a half minutes, I guess that should be okay. And free camera wise this shit not working. So the game is now gonna start and let's introduce Dead on Terrorblade. This is actually his uh, first time playing Terrorblade on in Dota 2. He played it in Dota 1. I'm going to be on my Lion, which has some set from the shit. Uh, I'm gonna be supporting him. And so we have uh, Terrorblade and me on the bottom lane. Dude on Magnus, you so I think I put his video in the on the YouTube already where he played the Magnus, he's really good Magnus. Uh, and we can see top lane marble on Darkseer and kill me baby on Pudge. So yeah, if you ch if you like paid attention really 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 early uh, we immediately picked Terrorblade, Magnus and Lion. Why? Because this is... <laughs> we want to try something. Uh, you won't see a proper play from Terrorblade on with that at the moment because it's still a first time playing him and he needs to adjust a bit. And he was like... Uh, what? He didn't play Dota 2 for couple of weeks I guess so in the meantime we are gonna do the dark side uh, well I don't know what this is this is RG so we are gonna call him Malfatka Birnoa Stael well, uh, when I said Stael's now that means I don't know I simply don't know well, I don't know what this is this is Malfaktra Birno. I, I don't know. I don't know the Russian. In the middle lane we are gonna see Nailman on Invoker. I always love watching Invokers. Invokers. And on the top lane, another Russian, Captain Bana. I don't know. And OMG, my T believe. I think this is going to be like Shadow Shaman, Bloodseeker, Sven and Venomancer and Invoker. Well, Nailman is actually a okay name. But I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Yes, this is not my thing. So, Soul Ring for Darkseer. And he did ward their camp so they can't pull. Now Bloodseeker is really really interesting. Uh, combo uh, combining Bloodseeker with Invoker is really powerful because whenever the enemy team is low, you can just you can just strike him and he'll die. And well, Veno and Sven, uh, what should I say? A really powerful combo. Sven got buffed. His armor is higher now. He has five armor, so that's really really good choice. And now I might die. Yeah, this is me doing some stupid shit. Oh no, he, that saved me. There we go. Uh, now, when I was playing this game, I was like, why the fuck this sword is still attacking me over here? They shouldn't have the vision. I don't know why. But, oh. First blood. And I missed uh, first blood, so... Let's check how things happen. So IG rotated and Nailman just killed him. First blood. First blood. The yeah, this is like okay rotation from the enemy team. He had haste. And shit happens, guys. Shit happens. Even though the dude got first blooded, he's still decent. Invoker is always gonna have more farm. But yeah. I guess he's doing a decent job on against Invoker. It's really hard to play against Invoker. He has a lot of damage. Especially when you exhort, exhort, exhort. That's like insane damage. 
And, well, th this is, um... They can actually kill me whenever... I'm, like, here. I'm trying to... Make sure they're out of mana. So they can do the combo. Spit and stun. Spit and stun. <laughs> That's interesting. I guess... Dude got the double DD rune. DD. And top lane, I guess it's okay. So, on the CS score, we are pretty much winning because we have more CS than they have. Only Invoker is above us, but yeah, he's expected to have that, uh, that much CS. And this is going to be... Uh, so he's going for Plague Ward spam. <laughs> I guess okay. It's when this would be more powerful. Just this. And just skip Plague Wards, but you can push the lanes with... Those. And later on you can just fuck us up if we get Blink and just ward everywhere. But that also means they're gonna feed us uh, some gold. And this is a nice combo. Iron Shell on with Rot. So 60 damage. And 70 damage at the moment. So that's 120 damage per second. Anyone that's n near Pudge. Okay, they see him. Mm, I think, yeah, they saw him. Yeah, they saw him, they, they backed off. Mm. Oh, too bad. Maybe we could have killed this one and the other dude, Venomancer. Gold graph. It was in their favor, but now it's in ours, I guess, because somebody is losing the on the CS board and experience pretty much even so this is a pretty much even game which is good I like even games I like when nobody steamrolls nobody's killing and we can see Malkhliatko, Birno or Sven running away and so I went for 2-1-2 two, two. Uh, this is a defensive mana drain build Obviously you would go for something else, but with this, uh, you can harass them, you can make sure they're always out of mana, which is especially useful against the uh, Veno and Sven combo. Uh, you can try it out. Uh, I haven't played Lion in... Oh, nice stun for me, and we might kill him now. There we go. No, we can't. We can't. Shit. And now we can see Invoker coming in. Will he try to kill us? No. He was just shaking for the rune. And the rune stopped. And in the meantime we see engagement on the top lane where we'll see... We'll see. So we see dude coming in. Going on the Bloodseeker and he killed him. RG rotated top and he might die now. Yeah, he'll die. Uh, ulti from dude just to ensure that kill and they kill the venom now in this early game it's it doesn't really matter if you use the reverse polarity or ultimate from magnus you just need to get kills to get that blink dagger so use it often whenever you can get that kill use it do not be scared use those ultis even on every fucking hero just use it and no, I'm just draining his mana so obviously with finger of death it's more useful when you get the kill not if you can get the kill 
and we can see Venom enter with the bottom. And now I'm gonna die. This is a stupid thing for me. Because, you know, I don't know, sometimes I mess up because I tell my hero somewhere to go. And he goes there and he's purely loyal to me even, he, if, even if he dies. These are defensive wars to check if Agnes come again. And we can see Invoker bot and that might die if he stays. We don't have the vision, but I'm coming in. And well, it was stopped, so I guess it's good. I guess it's good, and we can see now Magnus rotating bottom. He has the ult in 10 seconds. If he pulls it off, we can get a lot of gold. Guys, everything in the world is about money. But they pull back. And on the top lane, you can see Tilly Baby coming in. And nice double kill. I caught the end of all that, but they did a really, really, really good job. They destroyed that lane. I mean, it's pretty hard to even win against this lane, especially if you're a melee hero. Anshul is obviously going to push out the lane. And if there's a Pudge in the lane, you, he will. you always get nervous about his presence and his hook and with the combination with iron shell he'll do a lot of damage that's 90 plus 85 that's 175 damage per second just to kill him and it's both magical right yeah it's this is magical and i'm pretty sure this is magical so we have a 11 minute mechanism and they now they're now four men bottom which is uh, a bit unlucky so as you can see, I didn't buy any a lot of wards in this game. All I bought those first wards, and this is the reason because I wanted to make agonies. Some would say go first um, point. Yeah. So they're fa five minutes, but oh, this is yeah. We cannot do jack shit against this. Because whenever they pop these wards, we are just gonna die if we run into them. But if Pudge singles out somebody, we can actually kill. We'll see how this goes. So night vision is on, and we can't see each other. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna try and gank us now. They should have went this way. Because they know our two heroes are here and here. I mean, here and here, sorry. I was thinking about something else. And now Venom is trying to farm our jungle. In the meantime, we see dude dying. So, and nice hook from Fudge. Just to ensure the kill. And they might die now. Nice, nice, nice play from Marble and one down. Now oh, maybe I could have ulted the Sven, but I don't think it would be enough damage. No, it wouldn't. It would be just below. He would survive just barely. But now we see that coming. Oh, well. this was a misplay from us. We couldn't have gone into the tower, I didn't have any mana, Marble didn't have any mana, and he just died so in behind. I guess... And now we are talking and screaming at each other, for obvious reason of misplay. The problem is, he shouldn't have died. There was no creep wave, so the tower would hit us uh, for a lot of damage, and we are not that tanky as he is. He has 10 armor, really insane. Also, um, you know what's really effective against heroes like Terrorblade? Elder Titan. With natural order, order, you can just burst down the that armor and kill him. Also, I'm surprised I didn't show you any other Titan gameplays at the moment. 
Oh, nice play from that. Oh crap, this is not going to work that good for us. Well, we did kill, we did lose Pudge and we did kill Shadow Shaman, but now we should kill Sven. No, he's gonna. Oh, unlucky. This is just unlucky for, for us. We did lose Marcus. And we are gonna lose. As well. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah, we just fed them all. So, a bit unlucky from us when they saw dude here. We did manage to get Shadow Shaman. I think he bought back as well. well let's check the buyback status first the buyback status give me the buyback status buyback buyback no he didn't buy back no buback no buback and now they're trying to run dead now when i tried playing terrorblade again what the fuck so we did kill bloodseeker we did lost Terrorblade, I missed both. But it was pretty sure. Oh, I just missed. Lightning stunts with Earth Pack is really, really hard. Same with Nyx stun. It's basically the same stun, I guess. Now you can see how much damage those wards are doing to me. It's re really, really hard sometimes to play against Veno. He's a good um, game controller, if you want to see that way. What? What? So if you cut this tree right here, you can... Oh, and this? And now I'm gonna die. Yeah, I can... I would died even here with the, the blood seekers all on me, so I tried to run over here and I'll make a play. Yeah. But sometimes you just can't do jack shit. And there are five men in the middle while we are trying to farm still. So we see Darkseer getting that blink, and the blink costing zero mana at the moment, which is good. I I really like that change and Terrible is going for Mjolnir, I guess. He's going for some kind of farming build. Mm, I wouldn't agree with this build. This is like, I, guys, I, if you're ever gonna comment on this build on Terrible, don't blame the guy. He was trying it out for the first time. Since he came to Dota 2. So he's going to go weird builds and they don't usually play out very well. <laughs> He's cutting the tree, so our Pudge is boarding. Because I'm not. I'm farming. I still have 17 minutes into the game just to items. That's town. That's portal. Okay, uh, sorry, TP. And boots. Because why would I have any more items? So 53 minute mark, and now he's gonna block it. Dyer's Fucking piece of shit. And middle tower going down. Nice, nice play. Oh my fucking god. This is like a really nice combination. And... Oh my... This is like a full team wipe, guys. This is <laughs> this is funny as hell. Moments ago we were like losing and because this was like over here, and now it just that gold graph skyrocketed back to our advantage experience as well. We lost those fights before, but we are now winning. I mean. Look how much. I mean, we didn't have a single kill for five minutes, and then suddenly five deaths and a tower. And look at that graph going up and up. This is. This was like a funny team wipe because it was like three heroes here, 
two heroes here and we got them all really really good play from us punch not seeing my stun uh, you need to have balls that's simply what you need to have and immediately you see me buying something what did I get is this full items no it's not I I'm, I bought three items to give me more HP more mana and I guess more more armor I guess because why not? So Marble is pushing bottom and now the tower is gonna get the knife. A bit unlucky. Each other shaman tipping. So blood seeker. Good hero, not really that effective. He's mid game ganking hero. But so we have Mjolnir completed on Terrorblade. Uh, I would go Senge Yasha or maybe Manta Style. I do feel Manta Style is overkill because you have those illusions already. Nice. Oh, nice hook from Fudge! Really, really nice. Oh, Jesus Christ! This is amazing. This is just wonderful to watch. Stuns, ultis, everything landing perfectly. Nobody can kill us. This is really, really nice play. Obviously, I should have bought Blink, but I didn't know if this game would last that long. I wasn't sure because when we team wiped them, I was pretty sure we will win this before I complete the Agony Scepter. And you all know what happened in 6.8 with Lion, he got buffed, his ulti got buffed tremendously. When you finger somebody, it will, with the scepter of course, it will of course give you more damage, but it's now AoE damage. So if you pull people together, you will now AoE them all. I mean, you'll do like 875 damage to everybody in who was grouped at. And we have two heroes that are commanding that perfectly, which is Magnus and Darkseer. Nice. Nice, 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 nice kill from Fudge, but he's gonna die now. And I missed the stun. And nice play from Magnus. Again, nice play from Darkseer as well. They are gonna die. Maybe if I didn't miss that stun in the beginning, because I was expecting them to go like here. We, we maybe maybe fudge with her. Uh, I mean third blade or de dead would survive. Sorry, I sometimes misplay. But yeah, this means I'm gonna get my Agnum scepter, and next ulti is going to be a hilarious one, I guess, because a lot of people will die. And by a lot, I mean really, really a lot. Maybe not. I am oh, unlucky. Nice play. See, you don't need to have ult, you just need to stun people. This is enough damage. Now, maybe I should have stayed. But I run away. Because I don't have any escape mechanisms. Almost died. I don't have any escape mechanisms, but these two have. And we did get 3 4 1. So, yeah, I should have bought that blink. If I had that blink, we could have made even more dangerous plays. But I'll have now my fingers, wolf, agonims, and it's going to be funny when uh, we catch people. That's going to be hilarious. Sorry about that silence. I was eating, and now we can see if I'm going here. Um, yeah, shall shaman dying. So blood seekers when? Well, they don't have any wards on the map, right? 
yeah they didn't ward they didn't ward at the moment and we have a lot of vision as you can see they have only this much and we'll see if Pudge well he can hook him well you shouldn't be standing here nice hook from Pudge and Magnus still his heal kill So yeah, that's uh, good. This is a good patch. This is not your, I guess, Russian patch, which is crazy and not doing his shit. But we can't really push those wards. Are annoying as hell. Ah, here it is. and now they're gonna ward. They know now. Jig is up. Well, they have a lot of wards. They have a lot of fucking wards. Yeah, but the reason we can't really push in because they have. Ah, too bad. He missed that hook. Too bad he doesn't have blink. He's going for a four step. I guess that's good. Because you can always four step yourself in. Or post that enemy team member near you. And now we can see they were trying to move in, but they can't. They really can't. Not with this Magnus, not with this Dark Seer, they really, really can't move in. And now we are stuck in their ancients. Because why the hell not? Yeah, he he needs HP. There we go. In the meantime, big wave on the top lane is going to push in. But yeah, now we are like trying to see if they're gonna go on us or we are, or are we going on them. It's a really hard decision. So, oh, nice hook from Patch again. And Fudge is gonna die. There's no way he'll survive. We are way too below. So, yeah. Funny thing with uh, Turblade is that you can swap uh, HP with your own allies, I guess. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And now we are gonna farm. But we, we we saw that we can't really push because those wards are annoying. We need more farm. We need to catch them off guard. We need to single out Venomancer so their pushing power is zero. And only then can we actually fight. So we see that Sangin Yasha completed on Blood Seeker. That's his usual item. So Terrorblade, like I said, don't use his build for anything it was his first time uh, playing Dota 2 Terrorblade so he was experimenting and my item build don't go this go go boots and treads and blank you can even buy Midas if you want and then rush blink but I would prefer go blink so you can use those stuns to more effective shit because ever since I bought Agonims, I didn't use my old team. It's simply like that. And yeah, they're warding everything there. Well, th those are a lot. Of, this is not a really effective way, but okay. Hell no Dominator completed on Terrorblade. Mm. Sven, he still doesn't have that BKB. Shadow Shaman, not having any items at all. Beno, Yule, always a good choice. Fourth Death, Agnim's own Invoker. And now we can see us warding their wars. And yeah, this is uh, going to be an engagement on the top lane, I guess. They shouldn't really be engaging us. And hasn't completed their, his BKB. Dyer, stop, stop. 
so yeah. Lincoln spot miss hook and we really can't engage them it's just like that uh, well we are just farming their jungle in the meantime I mean we can't engage them on the high ground because of the plague wards and they really can't engage us because we are we have way way better team fight uh, this Pudge is uh, hunting but yeah he can do it Too bad. See, those wars are annoying as hell. So we are trying to storm them. I mean, storm their castle, if you want to say it like that. But we're looking. So they have the PKB completed on Sven. Now Sven is going to hit hard, which is nice for them, but. We'll see how things go. So we are now going Roche. Because it's obvious we need the Roche and they are going to contest us. Yep. They warded every fucking thing. That's like... This is not really efficient warding, but it's warding nevertheless. And... They can't... Now. They are either too late or they didn't think about it too much but with the patch coming in now he won't go we are going to back but yeah our other lanes are being pushed back I guess so it's not really a good thing for us but that Zult is going to run out which is bad and he's going for BKB to negate that stance they have and that control Oh, too bad, another miss hooked by Pudge. But again, we are in the same position we were in like 5 minutes ago. And we can't really push him. See, the goal graph is going up steadily. Experience as well. But we are not really... Oh, now. Nice hook from Pudge. Oh, nice, nice, nice from Marble. And ulti by me. So yeah, this is the effect of having Lion with um, that kind of ulti. And immediately they lost two heroes, we lost Marble, but yeah, Venom fought back. And we again can push. They know that if Venom is here we can't really push. And dude is gonna die. Nice look by Pudge, and well, good thing he has the Aegis. And I'm going in, and I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I should be dead, because the tower is killing me. But I did stun him, and I might... No, I'm dead. Ah, unlucky. So, I was doing super shit, and I died. Simple as that. But now I have my blink. I have my blink. So all is well. Top tower is under attack. But again, they defended the um, tower, and we can do jack shit. At least for next time, Veno doesn't have his buyback. Do something, and see twenty k gold, and twenty five k experience, I guess. And both of you killed. Oh, yeah, he was farming here. And now, kill my baby's gonna die. There we go. A little bit of uh, misplay from our side, but we don't have that pushing lineup, I guess, so. It's kinda annoying in the sense of a way that. You can't do jack shit when you don't have. A well, you need to have Necronomicons, I guess. That would be a good choice, but it's really a waste for our side. Uh, it would be good if he had Manta style. Again, you need to adjust. 
in this game it would be really good because we don't have that much pushing power. And now I'm going uh, pipe. It's obvious they have a lot of damage. Well, this is physical, but this is magical. This is magical. This is physical. Is this physical? No, this is ma So they have a lot of magical damage in their team. And I jumped in and I will die now. Yeah. I tried to save Marble, but he didn't. Well, I didn't know they were like 5 manning, but it's obvious they're gonna 5 man us from now on. And we are trying to be more efficient in our farming. Okay. Shit happens, guys, shit happens. And well, now they're buying smokes. And they're gonna sp no, they're not gonna smoke under our ward. But they should be smoking in just a moment. Still, Thoroughblade farming, he has now his BKB. So it gives me him a lot more HP. And uh, he has that magical immunity to prevent those, um, how should I say it? Stuns and shit like that, which is something he really lacked. So we can see Pudge going here. Oh, they're, they're trying to gank us, I guess. And we're trying to gank RG. And now immediately. Oh, lol. This is like a nice play, and. Ah, uh, too bad. Kill the baby. Nice, really nice play from our plate. With 3 against 5, this is amazing how it turned out because they lost one, we lost one. And, but we are gonna now lose dude as well. That is coming in. I killed those two with my ulti. Good thing from my, me. And now we are gonna kill another dude and clean up. Shell Shaman immediately bought back, which is okay, okay, I guess for him. And. Remember guys, it was 5 against uh, 3, well it was 1 against 3 in the beginning, then it turned 5 against 3 and then it turned like 3 against 5 and, well 3 against 4 and we killed them, we wiped them out. So as you can see that ulti, it doesn't really need to be used uh, with Magnus or Darkseer, but it's more effective that way, it certainly is, but remember I got the double kill here when they were trying to run away and if you stick up together you're gonna die and nice play for me a little bit stuns and he's dead and this guy uh, this, this is uh, guys how you should get lines built not go eggs go blink dagger uh, I'm skipping boots and I might die now stun just in case because my blink was on cooldown If damage is taken, Blink Dagger can be used for 3 seconds. I am always guessing that's like longer. So I have that pipe, I mean, Hood of Defiance. I'm gonna try and build a pipe, I guess. Because they are uh, killing us with magical damage, not physical. Only two guys that have physical damages are these two. Oh, this dude as well. But it's magical damage from Venom that's actually killing me. Is this magical? Hmm, this then? Well, it goes through magic immunity, so I guess it's not really that effective. So that was completed on Terrorblades, he's now gonna hit a lot more. Now we were commenting in this game why he does so little damage. Uh, the reason he does, because he went for, for Mjolnir. I don't think he needs Mjolnir, I think he needs something else. He needs... Uh, Sank and Yasha, Ivo Skadi are way way better, even though they're like in default recommended items, they should be. Did I? Oh, I bought wards. Oh my god. Oh, and look at these people lining up. This is going to be funny if we manage to land. Nice play. Really nice. Oh my fucking god, guys. This is why you shouldn't leave. <laughs> This is why the fuck this shit is amazing. 
you have Magnus, you have Lion with eggs, you will destroy draw a team in team fight. This is like a fucking brilliant shit. You don't need Magnus, you can go for Dark Seer and maybe you can uh, put the uh, lion on the mid lane to get that uh, blink fast and then be a set of four ganks. You can do that. But see how amazing finger of that with Agonimus is? It's really 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 good. You can't do anything. They just got team wiped by that. One one play and even if we lose a lot of heroes now, we can always come back to that perfect team wipe where dude and marble and we can just kill them. Because look at this, this is let's say 800 damage to every hero. Let's say 800 damage. You, you can counter this with pipe and shit like that. And of course, a lot of stuff. And we can we see that coming in here. I'm trying to play my cards right and again. Well my ulti just went on one dude. I guess uh, misplay from me. And I might die here. No, I will not. In the meantime well that's a little bit strange. Oh okay. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, my ulti didn't go off on everybody, it went on the one dude. But we did manage to win the fight. So, bottom tower is should be go down. But yeah, they lost pretty much the game. I don't, it's not my amazing game. It's this dude and this dude that are ama making amazing plays. It's obvious good with Pudge. He did a really, really good job. This is a good, good team uh, coordination and synergy that's making our play. So this is uh, th this is what I'm looking for in games. Actually, it's not lo looking for one player that will make shit happen. It's when you get four players or even five that are making things happen and this is really really good now he has 1.5k HP which is not really that good for Terrorblade he should have more and Terrorblade killed Bloodseeker okay I don't know what happened here Okay, this was like interesting, I guess, but I don't know why Bloodseeker went here. Now again, nice hook, nice stance, nice play from the dude, I bet, but I will die. Or not. And this is, oh fuck. This is when you see me dying because of Rollerball. But we uh, can't fit through all of them. So I guess this is fun. And oh, he didn't miss, he did press stop, which is good. Oh, unlucky. But I guess we won. A bit, bit, a little bit of misplay from time to time. I got my boots of travel. And came in, done, dead, double kill. <laughs> See, and this is why I don't usually upgrade the, the boots anymore because I know that at some point I'm going to need boots of travels. Especially if the game is going really, really good. It doesn't really matter, it saves you a lot of time and a lot of space. And we got kill on the Bloodseeker again. And this is the end. Guys, I hope you like this game. This is, um, as you can see, Lion with Dark Seer or Magnus in the team you can do a lot of damage that ulti which is now buffed is insanely good with Magnus ulti and uh, his damage uh, you can do enormous you can you can kill anybody that's like at 1.5k HP which is pretty much what we did this game I mean look at this look at the scoreboard everybody had almost the same amount of uh, kills and that's because we were always team fighting obviously Pudge was a little bit of 
roamer, so he could use human solo. But yeah, dude and marble setting up those kills, and in the end, I managed to get 11 kills, double kills here and there, ultis popping off. Too bad it was never a five man um, polarity or five uh, man uh, vacuum. Too bad. You can also combo this with. Uh, uh, how should you say Enigma if Enigma does his job right and pulls five people together and you get that Agonims and you pop that ulti and they're dead guys even better actually and the reason I like Lion simply he's effective he, you, you can you should be going mid with him actually he doesn't really have that many escape mechanisms, but you have the stun, you have the chicken or hex, and if you don't move too much from the tower, you will survive. So I guess this is the end of this game, and I hope you liked it. I love the the showing we did with some plays here and there. Uh, blink, good choice. Uh, Agonims, good choice. Uh, go blink and then eggs, or maybe four step in the middle of all that, it's always good to have 4 staff don't go X first it's good choice if you can get the cash for it but with usually how the games go you won't uh, as you can see we were pretty much even the by the 50 minute mark then the graph sky got rocket experience same we did have some faults here and there but this is pretty much the game and until next time see you guys